Hi and welcome back. I am Sasha again with The Little Dog Retreat and owner and creator of The Little Dog Retreat and TheLittleDogRetreat.com. Welcome. In this training lesson, I'm going to share with you my fabulous secret on how I get dogs to listen to me. Now, I have a dog business, so I have anywhere from three to maybe 20 dogs listening to me at one time, literally. Everyone will be out in the outdoor space or the indoor space, and I need to make sure that they're listening. So how do I get these dogs to listen? All at once, all in unison, all being quiet and attentive and waiting for a command. I'm gonna share with you today how I actually do that. And it sounds like a secret. Everyone's always thinking I have some magic trick or a magic wand, but realistically, I do two solitary things and I do them in conjunction with each other. The very first one I do is I command their attention. You know, I don't have to use a verbal command. I don't have to do a hand signal. I just literally wait them out. So all new guests coming in, my own dogs, existing dogs, whatever it is, if they're excited, now we want them to be excited, we want them to have a good time, we want them to be able to play and enjoy each other and enjoy the time that they're here, but I need them to listen. In order to listen, they have to be in a calm state. They have to be in an attentive state where they are actually listening. So what do I do? Whether a dog is jumping up and down or they want to scratch at the door because they know we're all going to open the door and we're all going to go outside, whether they are excited to play with a toy or they know they're getting a treat, there's that excited sort of agitated state that they're going to be in. Now, all dogs will do this, whether at home, out in a public setting, at an environment with multiple dogs, that's normal. And think of it just like you. If someone was going to hand you something that you were super excited about or you were going to go to an event that you were super excited about, your your blood pressure is going to be elevated. You're going to be excited. You're going to be ready to do it. So think about yourself. If you're an excited state, your dog also is going to have that kind of similar excited state. So the easiest thing to do is just wait till they're done. And the way to do that is just to be quiet, calm, and patient. And so if you are going to go outside for a walk, if you're going to give them a treat, if you're going to give them a meal, if you're going to play with a toy, there's that initial enthusiasm where they'll be jumping up and barking and, and waiting for you to go ahead and do that thing that they want to do so badly. And all you have to do is just wait. Because after a minute, now some dogs, if they haven't been trained and this is a new concept for them, they may take a few minutes to do this. But after a minute or so, they're going to realize, oh, we're not doing that thing. And they're going to start to wait and wonder, hmm, is it happening? Is it happening now? Is it happening now? And they'll naturally go from a super excited state down to a more calm state because now they're just waiting. They're waiting it out. Once they're waiting, that is your cue to give them the command. So the first part is just waiting, being patient and waiting for them to go ahead and calm down out of that excited, agitated state. Now, the second part is to give them a firm command. You can You can either do a verbal command or a hand signal command, but the command is paramount because it takes them from that excited state down to a calm patient state, and then it shows you are in charge, you're alpha. If you don't give them command, it puts them right back into that agitated state where they are calling the shots. So to make sure that you are showing up as an alpha, you need to make sure they calm down and then give them the command. And I'll show you right now with Haley. This is Haley, and I show her the leash. Now she's excited, she's smelling it, tail's starting to go, she's ready to go, but notice that she immediately, she's been trained well, she immediately sits down. And that's because she knows that we are going to do something exciting. I let her smell it. Now if she were to be jumping up right now and she was starting to beg and really getting excited, I would just simply put the leash down and then just wait it out. Wait until she knows. She knows, she knows it's right there, she's like, okay. And I really want to go, mommy. Are we going to do it? What's going on? And then I would go, Haley. Good. And now she's ready to be hooked up to the leash and for us to go on a walk. Haley's excited. We're going to walk this way. I'm just going to wait. Wait until she's calm. Shh. Now just go. Wait. Make sure the leash is pretty secure. I'm gonna make sure she's on my right. Ethan, will you open the door, please? Yeah. Okay. And. Hey. Ah, hey. Bean, sit. Good. And I walk through as Alpha. Stay. Come. 
And we're ready to go. Good. That's she's right, Stay with mama. Good. Good. Stay with mama. Whenever she starts to kind of pull away, you can correct. Make the leash tighter. Stay. Good. And just wait it out. Good. And let's go. Stay. Good girl. Yep. Good girl. <laughs> now, these are some of my guests. Notice that they are excited. Their tails are wagging. But they know. They know I'm not going to give anything. Girl, sit. And I'm waiting until they're calm. Nope. Sit. Good. Now this technique can be done very easily and literally for anything that your dog might be going ahead and doing with you, whether it's going for an outing in the car, going for a walk in the evening, feeding them breakfast or dinner or any kind of treat or snack throughout the day, whether they are doing submissive peeing at the door or scratching when someone else is out the door, jumping up on people, everything boils down to literally being patient and waiting for them to calm down and realize they have to be calm in order for that action step, that next item to actually occur. Now, if you have someone coming to the door, you can always warn them beforehand and say, I'm gonna just gonna give my dog a second to calm down before I open the door. They'll appreciate that as well. So once your dog is calm, you can give them a command to stay. I like to use keep stay. In my world, keep stay means permanent stay, opposed to stay for just a moment. And then also, once you open the door, Make sure that the person who is coming in doesn't get excited and start being, oh my gosh, hello doggy, ha! Ah! You want to make sure that they're also in a calm state because that, again, will raise your dog's anxiety, it'll raise their enthusiasm, their excitement, and it will totally, basically counter the actual training that you're trying to do. So make sure the person who's coming over knows and understands this as you are getting it going. Once your dog starts to become more proficient at this and you're getting into the habit of doing it, then literally, it you know, you don't have to warn people anymore. It'll just become a habit. It'll become normal. It'll become the new norm and the standard for your environment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.